Something really interesting is happening with Porsche and its electric drivetrain. If electric cars weren't innovative enough, Porsche is developing a 3D printing process that will improve automobiles as a whole. In other words, Porsche is 3D printing parts for its electric drivetrain. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell um, for uh, so you don't miss my next um, EV coverage. Back when you were in high school, shop class was filled with woodworking tools, lathes, uh, drill presses, and maybe uh, the occasional welder. Nowadays, a well-founded school, well-funded school, will teach kids how to use alien technology and act like it's nothing. From CNC routers, routers to laser cutters and 3D printers, the once basic engineering technology is now moving toward the future before our very eyes. Porsche is a company that embraces 3D printing as a manufacturing tool for real metal parts. We're not sure if this has uh, been done before in the auto industry, but we think it's worth looking into. The parts involved in this new process are mainly the other housing for electric drive components and hardware. Using this technology, Porsche has made everything lighter, stronger, and more durable. Now, electric drive housing. The rear end of an electric car is very similar to that of a gas-powered car, believe it or not. An electric drive unit looks like a big, beefer um, version, beefier version of the Ford 9-inch you have in your old Camaro. Even though the Taycan, Porsche's only all-electric car, is more technologically advanced than other electric vehicles, there is always room for improvement, especially when it comes to weight. The 3D printing technology that um, they have developed, or uh, additive manufacturing as they call it, uh, takes the existing electric drive housing and redesigns nearly all of the dimensions, including overall shape, weight, and rigidity. The entire process is improved as well within a normal cast piece of metal along with its specific blueprints porsche will usually have to build a special tool or process for that singular part with 3d printing additional assembly work is eliminated and porsche claims the part quality is increased dramatically now how the 3d printer works the printer is basically a big box with computer-controlled software and hardware. The computer guides the printing nozzles in the exact order and physical direction that uh, it needs to complete uh, the part. Porsche's printers are able to use a special alloy powder that, when heated up, becomes a lightweight metal material. The printer goes layer by layer, carefully placing the melting material around in a circular fashion until the part is a whole. Each layer is melted atop on, uh, one, atop one another. In doing this, the lightweight metal powder instantly bonds to the previous layer, creating a virtual natural hunk of metal, except this material is much stronger than a cast piece. Porsche's engineers have researched certain patterns to use when printing each layer of material in order to make them physically stronger and more resistant to flexibility. Porsche claims that the uh, weavings in some of the successful tests were much derived from, the, from that of nature. Bones and plants were used as reference. The natural bone and plant designs were just used on the inside, however. The outside shell of the housing are designed in a honeycomb design to once again strengthen the parts entirely. Here are some more specifics from Porsche's release. Porsche says, quote, the weight of the housing parts was reduced by approximately 40% due to the integration of functions and optimization of the topology. This represents 
presents a weight savings of around 10% for the entire drive due to the lightweight construction. The stiffness was increased significantly at the same time, despite a continuous wall thickness of only 1.5 millimeters, the stiffness between the electric motor and the gearbox was increased by 100% due to the lattice structure. The honeycomb strong, uh, structure reduces the oscillations of the thin housing walls and thus considerably improves the acoustics of the drive as a whole. End of the quote. And here is another quote from that. The integration of parts made the drive unit more compact, significantly improved the drive package uh, and reduced the assembly work by around 40% work steps. This is equivalent for the work steps actually. This is equivalent to reduction in the production time of approximately 20 minutes. An additional benefit, integration of the gearbox heat exchanger with optimized heat transmission improves the cooling of the drive as a whole. This is a basic requirement for further increases in performance. So as you can see, Ford using a 3D printing really improve its production by 20 minutes of that part and also save some time in cooling and so on. Porsche's media team says that the 3D printing technology for its electric vehicle drivetrain was also tested on combustion engine components. Successful tests with 3D printed um, pistons were conducted with the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in its facilities. If Porsche is correct regarding the time saving and quality improvement of uh, this new technology, we could see printers like these show up in every major manufacturer in a couple of years in uh, an expensive technology for sure, but with enough time, the rest of the automotive industry may fall in line. What do you think, friends? Let me know in the comment section below, please. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Do you like using uh, Porsche using uh, 3D printers. Uh, did you expect Porsche using 3D printers? I think this is really cool that Porsche is able to save time. I think if uh, this news is more widely, um, uh, this uh, this technology is more widely used in other electric vehicle manufacturers, and even as you saw, uh, Porsche is uh, uh, testing this also in pistons of so its gas cars, uh, internal combustion engine cars. So maybe other car companies soon will start using this if it's saving time, saving time in cooling and you know cutting the production by 20 minutes i think that's that's huge thing to cut the production in 20 minutes well let me know your thoughts friends please like this video if this was helpful and share in social media that helps us tremendously and if you guys uh, are interested in covering electric vehicle or tesla news uh, we're hiring more ev reporters at torquenews.com please contact me send me your information and sample uh, to our uh, contact information uh, this channel you can see that from our about page in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for uh, daily tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story and electric vehicle story and have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone i look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below see you soon friends